Hi, I'm B.A. Limbeck, and my channel is all about chronic pain and the side effects of antibiotics and cortisone epidurals. It's time to get rid of the challenger. And today I'm going to review the comfortability of the 2022 Jeep Cherokee Trail Hawk versus the 2015 Dodge Challenger. Before you purchase a vehicle, you want to think about the pros and cons, even for your caretaker. This was the last time my husband had to lower the wheelchair into the trunk of the Challenger, which was hard on his back. The seats were comfortable and the vehicle was low to the ground, which made it easy to get into and out of the car. But I won't miss the bumpy ride. Back's hurting today. Uh, I said my back is hurting today. I'm feeling the bumps. Yep, because how low we are. Expansion on it is not made for luxury riding. Yep. Well, that was a little bit of a bump there, but I didn't even feel it. Hey, I went over quite a bit of Oh, ooh, ooh, I feel it there. <laughs> oh, yeah. But a lot better than the Challenger. Yeah. The Trailhawks hatchback is a much smoother transition and there's more than enough room. We also purchased a WeatherTech cargo liner. The Challenger had no automatic lift gate. The only drawback was the step we had to purchase so I could get into the Jeep without struggling. Our model came fully electronic to make my ride relaxing. And it has a lumbar support control too. There's lots of storage space. A place for loose change. And over here is a USB port. If you press the second lever, you have a smaller compartment. That's pretty cool. The dashboard even has storage for my handy dust rags. Our Challenger had heated seats. The Trailhawk has heated seats. Both a plus for someone with chronic pain. My husband loves the heated steering wheel and the steering column is fully adjustable. The passenger side vent controls are convenient. And the passenger window has an automatic push button. Of course, my husband wanted a sportier car so he can drive it in sport when I'm not with him. And no worries here about getting stuck in the snow. We did miss the sunroof in the Challenger, so we just had one installed. Plug the phone into the USB port and you have an easy to read map. When my son was a teenager, he started watching Top Gear and I enjoyed the show too. He said, mom, I didn't know you liked cars. I said, I like fast cars, just not being in them. When his brother replied, mom, you're sensitive to G-force. Yes, I am. Thank you.